Oh, Arbiters. Also, that attack looks entirely dodgeable. Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by, but I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. Yeah, that's a quick briefing. I hear you. So, uh, all of a sudden we got like yes, plus three executor. upgrades because of the badassery of the last mission. Alright, well, um, I, I know I got sidetracked. I want to talk about, uh, though, what I've gone through to fucking do my internet shit. Yeah, they can, they can like fucking do it, but it's great. Yes, executor. For Adun. Oh. Uh, no, go up here. Go up here. You don't have, you don't have not internet. Um, okay, so as for as for what I've gone through for, to get my internet back up. Oh my oh my god. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, it was like two weeks ago. Okay, right now it's like the fifteenth. Um, like ten days ago. It was like it was like a week and a half ago. Basically, I woke up in the morning. Uh, I didn't have a connection, so I called in. And they said, okay, we're going to put a ticket in with Shaw, because Tech Savvy resells from Shaw. And so I'm like, okay, sure. So, usually, this is not the first time this has happened, and every time... Oh, here we go. Uh, whatever, sure. I'm not playing tank, Terran campaign. Um, so, usually when this happens, it's always something... I, I, I think they change something on their end, and then they need to, like, re-put me on or something. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I didn't know that. It shall be done. Jacked up and good to go. Kind of worried now. Your will. It shall be done. God damn it, I lost the Zerglings. It shall That's be done. That. God damn it, this is what happens when I'm not focusing. It shall be done. Uh, yeah. Of course. Commander, go, go, go. Let's move. Person. Rock and roll. Yeah, I knew it. Because the, 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 the dead bodies. Of course. They're Shall dead giveaway. Um, anyways, what was I going on about? Um, so yeah, I called them up, and they're like, okay, we'll put a ticket in with them. So I'm like, okay, sure, go ahead, do that. And so, yeah, it's it's happened before, and they've always, they've always fixed it on their own. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, what's it called? So, I, uh, so, like, fast forward to basically the Friday. Uh, like, they, they basically said that uh, they're going to have to get a Tekken. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. They've never had to get a Tekken before. Uh, and they said, well, you know, they, they said that you need to have a Tekken. So I'm like, okay. And so the problem with getting a Tekken is if, you, if you've if ever had a Tekken come, come in, you, you know for a fact that, um, I think it's a good idea to save once in a while. Yeah, it's lagging. Seeing how there's um, of course. the the infested turns will one hit me. Of course, it shall be done. Um, of course. Well, it shall be that done. guy MLG me. Of course. Um, and so they they charge you like ninety nine dollars. And it's, it's fucking terrible when they do that. I hate it. Yeah, but yeah, they charge you ninety nine if it's if it's if it's not their problem kind of thing. And so I don't know if I get charged ninety nine dollars for this guy's visit, but basically he told me my modem was fucked. Um, oh, but but before this, before this, okay, let me tell you this. So they told me on um, I had to be on the phone with them so much on Friday, so I didn't get any work done. Uh, I've been going like by, by the way, my job I'm a computer programmer. I usually work from home, but I we do have an office, and I try and whenever there's like internet problems or whatever, we we go into the office. And, um, so I, I was unable to go into the office, because I'm, like, on the phone with them, like, the entire time. And so I'm like, well, do I have to wait for a tech to come over? Because they're, like, trying to, they're trying to diagnose it with me. And, um, what's I'm gonna call it? Really, there's nothing here. This is, like, a trap. Well, anyways, um, so... So yeah, so like I've already wasted enough time, and and my my, my company's not happy with me because like, well, Mike, you need to you know you need to do work, and I'm like, I know, I'm I, I try to get my internet back up because that's the thing, I, I don't really like you can't people usually aren't there on the weekends and they can't come in on, like on the weekends like especially for my, my company uh, the ISP I'm with because I'm with like a strange third party ISP 
and they they they're, 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 they keep telling me, oh, you should probably change to like you know something more business oriented. I'm like, I know, but you know, I, I'm trying to give them a chance, you know, because they I pay a lot less for it because I don't like paying a lot of money for for my ISP. But if they're inconveniencing me, I might. And so, um, so yeah, on Friday I spent like the entire day on the phone with them. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> and um, and so like they're like, okay, we gotta get a guy in there, and I'm like, okay, fine. See dead bodies. So, so yeah, so he said Monday the guy will come in, and I'm like, okay, fine. Of course. Man, should save both these guys. I love that. I love this part so much. And like the zealous and everything, it's great. Um, is anyone actually even up here? I don't even know. Um, so yeah, so they said Monday someone would come in. And uh, and then, what's we call it? So Monday comes, I'm like, okay, I gotta stay from home again. And so I, I've been trying to get as much work done as I could in coffee shops or whatever, right? Because you can work, I can work in coffee shops. Uh, it's not desirable because you know you're you're in a coffee shop rather than at, than at home. At home is is more peaceful. You don't have to deal with like what people do. But anyways, um, so I was I was getting shit done, and uh, uh, so yeah, Monday I stayed home, and once again, work wasn't happy with me that I was doing that. But I'm like, okay, well, it's kind of unavoidable. Um, and so what happens is uh, nobody came on Monday, and so I call in like pretty much after. After the, after the time he's scheduled to arrive. Well, that ended. I, I thought he'd be up there, not behind me. <laughs> uh, wonder is. Um, so yeah, they, they call they call me up, and uh, and now that I know nothing's here, I'm, I'm actually probably just gonna walk away. instructions. Wow, yes, take so yeah, they um, so they called me up, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay, uh, so uh, so I wasn't I wasn't happy with any of this. Uh, yeah, so nobody came, and then I called. I'm like, okay, so where's the guy? And he's uh, and they're all like, we we scheduled uh, uh, he was scheduled for Tuesday, and Tuesday is the time I actually have to go to work. I go into work one day a week. And so they, they, my work was even less happy that I was spending another morning because they're like, well, you know, it's either that or we schedule it for like later in the week. I'm like, no, I need to get this resolved because I'm going, I'm going on vacation soon, and like, it's it's a real pain in the ass not to have, you know, your internet up. And I'm just like, okay. Um, so I stayed, and the guy came in at the last minute, of course, uh, in the afternoon, and then um, determined that it was uh, my modem. Uh, they got, they actually had some guy do diagnostics to, to the modem, and then it's like, okay. Um, and so, I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, and so I had to replace my modem, which is like, I pay for my modem, by the way. I don't I don't rent it, and I save a bunch of money that way. But the problem is, whenever it breaks, I have to go order another one. And shipping in Canada, uh, at any rate, is like, it takes forever. Like, basically, I was like on, like, tigerdirect.ca, which is one of the places you can go. Um, yeah, anyways, I tried a bunch of a bunch of different providers, and so eventually I settled on... I needed the modem ASAP, and so I, uh, I overnighted it from my ISP. So they, they gave me one, and I wanted it to be, like, a nice, like... Doxis 3.01. Oh. Come down here. Uh, and and so it took it took them a while to fucking like get that resolved because I told them to overnight it and they took like fucking forever to fucking like they they, they took they took an entire day to basically send it out. I'm like, no, you overnight it. Like, how hard is that? You take the modem, you you put it into you 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 basically mail it to me and then that's it. Uh, and so, so it didn't get, it did basically, these problems didn't get solved until Thursday. Like, basically it was an entire week before the modem actually got sent out to me. Which is ridiculous. So I, I paid like $30 extra for the privilege of, uh, not getting, uh, basically getting it by Friday. It's goddamn terrible. Uh, anyways, um, and, uh, shipping stuff in Canada is just like, wow. So, yeah, so, um... 
They were so Friday I was supposed to come, so I stayed. I stayed at home again, uh, much to the, much to the detest of my work, uh, to try and wait for the for the to to be at home because it, it's beneficial for me to get because I can work on the weekend and stuff like that because I can't work in the office on the weekend really. Um, so I waited for that and uh, what's it called? Um, the guy the guy didn't deliver it basically. Uh, he said he said he couldn't find the building. Oh. He, he couldn't. He couldn't. He apparently could not find the building, which is a bunch of bullshit. Cause it's like right around, like all the all like. It, it basically. I live in this this weird like. There's four buildings with the same number, but there's a D in the address, so you're supposed to know. So I'm like, okay, like how the fuck do you not know about that? And then I looked on the package, and apparently they forgot my apartment number. That's why he couldn't deliver it. And I'm like, that's fucking ridiculous. My ISP forgot to put the apartment number on a rush package. Are you shitting me? And. Uh, so it's not the, it wasn't the postal service's fault. And and I'm just like, oh dear God. So Friday I went and I'm like, I need this package. And then I'm like, okay, fine, we'll have it available for you to pick up. On uh, you have to go in for it. So I had to go in for it. I had to waste two hours of my time to go in for it. I know I'm bitching a whole lot, but you know, as I said, you, you guys, I, you need to know this. Um, so like this is this is yesterday by the way. So Friday I went in and I got it. I finally got the package. Okay, I brought it home, plugged it in. Was no, got no connection, and I'm like, well, are you fucking kidding me? So they, they were supposed to provision the modem before, provisioning is basically kind of, they whitelist it so that I can go on their network kind of thing, and the drag room can't come up here. Okay, he's too fat. Alright, goodbye. Uh, so they were supposed to do that before it, it got sent to me, and they didn't do it, so I was like, okay, um, why? Uh, oh, you're dead. Whatever, we don't need to actually be there. So they, so, uh, uh, I, I learned that they apparently did not provision it at all. Oh, okay, kill him. Whatever. Um, so, I called in and they're like, well, you have to wait up to 48 hours for them to do this. But I'm like, I rushed the modem. I'm like, fuck, you're supposed to have it. And so I just called today, because it was 48 hours, and the guy's like, they sent it to the wrong email. Like, they sent it to their ordering department, not to the support department. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm here. I love the I love ghosts. Um, yeah, so they sent it to their ordering department, so they sent it again, and now I'm waiting another 24 hours, and so right now the modem is right in front of me, blinking, saying it's, it's can't get a, get, get a connection. So, and it's just like, it's been... Like, fu fucking bullshit after bullshit. Like, it's been absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Oh, whatever. I don't care. This is the guy. Oh, you Terrence. Like, it's- it's honestly- it's- it's like the worst kind of, like, fucking... Of course. Like, what, what kind of business, like, stays in business for doing all this shit? Like, honestly. Like, you know, I, I've heard I've heard some horror stories, like, for the Americans. And I'm just like, I'm like, well, we have a, we're, it's worse in Canada, it really is. But it's not as bad as, like, Australia or some shit. Like, Australia's pretty bad. Like, I hear their internet, it's like, they get, like, shitty speeds and, like, terrible support. And I notice every time I call, I'm on hold for, for 30 minutes before I get something. Like, I've literally called so much that I'm basically like, okay, um, I could just fucking... Oh. So apparently, apparently they, they, they're doing some dickish things where they come behind me. I'm gonna keep this guy in the back here. Like, they, they, I, every time I call, I'm on hold for 30 minutes, no matter what time of the day it is. Like it's it's like so I'm pretty much convinced at this point that they do that on purpose just so if you're if you're if you're pissed off you kind of calm down because you listen to the music or whatever so literally whenever I call now I just kind of I kind of just put my phone down for thirty minutes. Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home. Greetings to you, mighty Tazadar. I knew that you would not forsake us, for in the time that you have spent with us. You have learned to value our ways and our methods. You have learned to channel our dark power as well as that of your masters. And thus, you alone 
have found completeness beyond the scope of the color. But I fear that the Conclave in its pride could never bring itself to welcome outcasts such as we. Outcasts though you may be, it is your vision and courage that may yet save our homeworld from the swarm. I beg of you, Zeratul, return with us to Ire. Though they are petty and have in ignorance cursed your kind for generations, help me save our people. Since our banishment long ago, we have never failed in our responsibility to Ayo. Though it shall cause us great pain to see our homeland once more, we shall return with you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. I love this there tool because he has these like epic speeches and shit. Not like the fucking Starcraft 2 one where he's like, I bring tidings of doom, and that's pretty much all he says. I, I, I love the fact they didn't dumb this game down at all. Greetings, Executor, and greetings to you, Tazadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it Phoenix. seems... It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now, they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Tarawadu, Noble Phoenix. Executor. It seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Oh man. Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's Law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall set us all unto the Zerg. Alright, so basically we just run away. You must flee. Yes, Executor. For Adun. Uh, alright. Well, let's start. Wow, we have a lot of money. We are under attack. All right, well, that's enough of that. Um, what can I make? Uh, we got scouts. We got a shit ton of these units. We got you. All right. I guess we'll bring some of these guys over, too. Kill these guys. So, um, I want to... I, wanna, I, wanna, I know I've been detracted, detracting a lot from, from whateverness. Uh, but I, I want I, I want to actually go on to um, you know like how does this how does this even work with like with these kinds of companies like it's like uh, actually wait what should I do for an attack I guess I'll do scouts I think I get a fleet beacon now don't I uh, no no I'll get reavers let's do reaver drops and shit that actually sounds fun to me okay so we're gonna do all an entire ground force. We don't get Arbiter yet, it's rather unfortunate. Uh, okay. We got Citadel of the Doom, so we can get faster, like, movement. Let's get some attacks. Um... And the rest will have to wait. Okay, um... What was I gonna go on about? Um... I wanna talk about, like, I guess my, my, my political alignment a bit. Uh, it's, it's actually chaotic evil. Nah, just kidding. But, um... <laughs> Fuck, they keep attacking here. Just make a cannon over here. Standing by. 
Um, what's we call it? No, it's um, like like I don't talk about politics much or like what I I feel, but you know, as I said, I, like this is like this is like capitalism at, at its worst because you know. In basically not allowing competition into the country, it's fucking like they're the worst. Like it's like we have this bullshit where it's like absolutely terrible customer service and stuff. And like if they actually had competition, then they would be able to to fucking uh, we, we'd actually get some choices. Even if it was foreign uh, people, like like compete. That's it. Like they don't have any competition. It's it's, it's terrible. Like if we had competition, yeah, then then we maybe get like lower prices. Maybe maybe they wouldn't like on purpose put me on hold for thirty minutes. Maybe so I calm down about the, that kind of shit. And it, it makes me kind of angry about that. Uh, and uh, and so you know, and and this is this is basically why I'm I'm not so much on the right or on the left because my my belief is that. Uh, oh. My, my belief is basically that, uh, you know, no, nobody should have to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the simplest way of saying this? Okay, I, I approve of, of government kind of programs and stuff like that with, 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 within, within one exception and that is, uh, that, uh, not, like, over 95% of people would benefit from it. So things like, I guess, uh, peacekeeping kind of things like everybody kind of benefits from that I, I do i do approve like peacekeeping operations and, and shit like that but canada do, does do i like that kind of stuff environmental stuff that's important uh laws to basically so we don't kill each other i approve of that you know things that are generally better for everybody uh, the the universal health care i do agree with uh, i don't i don't believe in pri privatization of certain things like that because i don't think people benefit from that because you know it's uh, it's one of those things where you know everybody gets kind of everybody gets kind of fucked if uh, if you know arbitrary prices. You know, it's like you're, you're they kind of have you by the balls kind of thing, and I don't like that. Um, uh, however, I don't believe in in this unnecessary spending on things that most people don't need. So when they do like th when they look into th research things or they want to tell you what to do, they want to tell you who to fuck. Like it's like oh like, no gay marriage and shit like that. This is more of a this is actually more of a um, issue for America, not so much for Canada, because gay marriage is already legal here. Things like that, things that should be rights. Nobody like nobody has any business telling you what to do. You know it's it's no, nobody nobody it's nobody's fucking business but my own kind of thing. That kind of shit. Uh, maybe maybe I'll. Um, Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, whatever, I'll just, uh, Your will instructions. and then we'll have, like, a couple of these guys. Alright. And also, uh, observer will follow in. And do it. I don't have an observatory. That, that's, that's my, that's my belief, is that, uh, government should tell me what to do. They should, they're, they're basically, their, their business is basically to make laws that, you know, uh, that help people. Not, not, not... Oh, fuck. Let's go and let these guys right here. Got him. Um... Not, not, like, not to make these laws that only kind of... That are kind of, like, selfish and keep them in business. Like, honestly, I don't think the government should be as big as it is right now. And you'd think I would be on the right, except I'm not, because I think they're fucking idiots. Uh, on the right, like they don't, they don't, they 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 get rid of things that everybody benefits from, like they they like you know things that like things like privatizing roads and whatever. I severely disagree with, like you know having like toll highways because everybody uses highways and shit like that. So no, no, I'm not I'm not so much in that where people like just fucking just milk everything. It's like oh let's not let's not touch this kind of stuff because I I think that some things should be reg regulated but not everything. Uh, this is like. <laughs> I don't, this has nothing to do with StarCraft at all, I know, but uh, I, I feel I feel it's an important issue. Um, so so yeah, I'm, I'm, I consider myself I guess in between because I think both sides have a lot of a lot of great stuff. Like the the, the government does a lot of stupid things uh, in Canada as well. Uh, America fucking your government's total idiotic. No offense to you guys. But, um, Obama, you know, I don't know. 
Like, you guys, you guys hate that Obamacare or whatever the fuck it's called, and it's, it's pretty much what you guys need at this point, because it's like, it's great. It really is to have, have a public option, because it keeps, it keeps the system honest, you know? Like, if, if you have, if you have choice, then, then you get to go somewhere else if you don't like something. Alright, let's bring Chuppy up here. Bring, bring this guy down here. And th that, that's my belief, is that everybody, th th everybody should have an option. And, uh, and I, I feel that you guys in the States don't get a lot of options either. Uh-oh. Wow, Reavers are pretty balling. Uh-oh. Reaver Wars. I love my- I fucking love Reapers. I'm gonna need some more shit though here. Maybe Dragoons. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Wait, did I, did I lose a bunch of fucking Reapers? Uh-oh. Uh, let's get out of here. No, no, we all gotta run. <laughs> 